Hey guys, it's the Fujo Fairy here, coming right back at ya um, with a manga's first impressions, like recommendations type video about the new manga that just came out this month, Life Lessons with Urameshi Onesan by Kodansha. It's a two-in-one, it is a beautiful manga. And uh, I read it the other day, and I just wanted to uh, share my thoughts with it, because I do not see a lot of people talking about this one. I haven't seen anybody actually really talk about this one. And, um, you know, I want more people talking about it, so I make these type of videos. So, um, so yeah, uh, let me just get started into this. I'll read the synopsis in the back, and then I'll uh, go more into my thoughts and how I feel with the manga. So, Urumeshi is a 31-year-old 31, 31 host on a kid's show who leads exercise routines and teaches life lessons colored by the one by one main theme, adulthood sucks. <laughs> Alongside mascots played by a couple of bushy-tailed 20-somethings and, and a singing duo whose music embodies the notion of being kicked while you're down, uh, Urameshi wades through the misery of working life one sarcastic comment at a time so as you could tell this is a adult theme manga um it says older teens uh, but in my opinion um i feel like if you're an adult you would definitely relate a lot more than just a teen if you're especially if you've been work in the working field um you know living adult life if you know what i mean like there's a difference between the 16 year old and 23 year old um you know um although he is 31 so he's just a couple years older than me so i relate to him a lot um uh Urameshi is the main character this guy right here um he used to be an really renowned alf athlete um i think he was i forgot what type of I think he did like um, gymnastics or something and I guess something happened they don't exactly tell you what happened in this where he ended up working for a kids show um, the show is called good morning Mamon or something or mornings with Mamon. I forgot what is exactly the name of the show um, he worked on the show with a couple other characters who are also in their late 20s early 30s so if you're around this age which i am and i know a lot of other people who do read manga are um i definitely um i think you would relate really well with these characters because you know life really does suck um and especially you know when you whole life you wanted to do something else and then you ended up doing something that you really don't want to do you know you don't realize how sucky it is to work every single day um until you become an adult and you're working every day and you're like this is not as fun as i thought it was going to be especially when i was younger i wanted to be older too like i was you know most kids are like that we want to be older we can't wait until we're old enough to do work or whatever and have our own money in our own house but we don't realize like once you start working you have to pay bills you gotta listen to a boss you gotta wake up every morning you only have two days off so you literally work all week just for the weekend just for two days which really sucks so this guy really embodies everyone <laughs> like if you hate your life like you're definitely gonna like this one a lot um he's super funny i love the humor in this um let me see a couple like one time i think i mentioned this he's like talking to the kids and he's just like oh who's happy raise your hands yay good job who's out feeling okay raise your hands who's hating life right now raise your hands oh just me oh <laughs> you know it's so funny it's hilarious he just talks about the funniest things sometimes and i think one of the pages oh like in the beginning some girl asks him like one little girl she asks him she's like oh my daddy's 29 why aren't you married if you're 31 and he's just like well my life sucks <laughs> and it's just so funny he's hilarious you know he puts on the smile facade because he works with kids i work with kids as kids as well also that's probably why i relate to this so much so you have to be like on like on when you're working with kids obviously because kids they have a lot of energy you have to match that same energy with them and so 
And so you have to pretend to be happy all the time, even though you're having a bad day or you woke up on the bad side of the bed, you're going to have to pretend to be happy. I mean, even in most jobs, you have to do that. You know what I mean? You can't be going into the office fucking cranky all the time. You have to pretend to smile. And um, yeah, he shows that in a lot of his stuff. Like as soon as the camera goes off, he go he's smiling and then he goes, like serious like don't fucking talk to me um a lot of his other co-workers especially there are these two guys these 20 something year olds these late 20 year olds um who who um dress up in like one's a bunny and one's a bear i'll show you these are the two guys i forgot their names to be honest um <clears throat> we don't actually don't see their faces until a little bit into the story as well they kind of cover their faces for a little bit but you finally you, there's a face reveal a little bit in it um in there when you go into it and they're like both pretty afraid of him because he's actually you know even though he's a failed i hate to say the word athlete because he wants to be an athlete um <clears throat> he still constantly works out so when he's home he's either working out watching tv or just sitting there doing nothing so he's very strong and they always make comments about oh <laughs> what else does urameshi do other than work out <laughs> you know like they joke about him and he gets pretty pissed off at them and he glares at them and they're like urameshi scares me i don't know what's wrong with this guy <laughs> and they're just i don't know it's cute and it's funny and um yeah those are the other two characters and then there's another two characters who are in his 30s who are also like co-hosts of um the show that they're uh, on one woman she's 31 um she's like a failed idol she wants to be an idol and she didn't end up doing that and so she's 31 she just wants to get married and have kids she has a boyfriend she lives with her her uh, <laughs> failed comedian comedian boyfriend they call him and she always mentions that she wants to get married but he doesn't even like acknowledge it and she's always just angry about the fact that she's not getting married or she's you know she has a boyfriend but her life is not what it, you know what she wanted to be and then there's another guy i think he's like tw i don't know if he's 30 he's either 30 or 29 he's almost like in that he's in that age and um <clears throat> and he's just like there's oh those always have to be like that freaking klutz character in these type of character like um comedy type manga um who doesn't say any like he does say stuff but they're kind of stupid like he's very airheaded you know they have full-on conversations and you see his little thought bubble of like an onigiri like he's just thinking about like onigiris all day he's it's funny he it's honestly this is a pretty funny uh manga i know i just like random <laughs> rambled on and you guys are like what the fuck but if you're into this type of stuff like i definitely recommend this especially if you like manga like uh watakoi um life is hard for otaku where it's like you know real life people working and stuff definitely give this one a shot uh we definitely do not get here especially here in the west we do not get enough of these adult um centric type manga and you know i'm not you know mad about it like it is not that big of a deal but it's nice to have it every once in a while um and also there is an anime coming out next year for this one. So I have a feeling once the anime comes out, this might honestly uh, really pop off. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I want to say. I think that's kind of it. Did I mention that this is a slice of life um, comedy type manga? I don't know if I said that already, but... <laughs> I mean, I just kind of rambled on and not focused on anything, but I talked about the characters and stuff. But it's so funny, and I really, really do recommend this for, um, especially for adult manga readers who are, you know, who are looking to some for something to to laugh about that they can relate to. Because I relate to this a hundred percent as a person who is in her late twenties who's still living at home and who has to work and do all this shit um this self-deprecating humor is definitely um is definitely up my alley of course humor uh you know what i find is funny you may not find is funny so it, it it's you know it's whatever but um if you listen to a couple of the things that i said um and you found it funny then you should definitely check this out because definitely um it's a good one in my opinion so yeah that's the end of this video hope you guys enjoy this quick little rant i'm just gonna call it a rant because it was definitely more of a rant video i kind of went off 
on some random shit back there but um yeah hope you guys like the video have a great day and uh i'll see you around bye